welcome to our English news edition, our major stories for tonight are The Lana Laboratory fights against poor food preservation Historical polls, the first since the fall of President Robert Mugabe, 23 candidates in the battle for the presidential elections Following the death of the late Asiya Ogur on the night of Saturday, July 28, in Djibouti, Prime Minister and Acting Head of the Government, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, sends his most heartfelt condolences to her entire family, including his son, Mr. Her son, Mr. Ogur Ahmed Kifli, a former minister and also Secretary General of the Coalition Party, Fruit. The late Asiya Ogur, after 80 years old, uh, uh, leaves behind a large family, including nine children and three grandchildren. She leaves a big void with all the uh, fa big family living in Djibouti, but also in the region of Dikhil, including Gubat. In addition, the Transport Minister Mohamed Abdul Qadir, the decentralization, Hamad Aramis, the Chief of the Staff of the Presidency, Mohamed Abdul Qadir, and the Prefect of Dikhil, Mohamed Sheikho, the engineer Burkait Saeed, are all associating with the pain of the family and offer their condolences as well. The management and staff of the RTD share the grief of the family of the day. That's your Good. All pray the good God to welcome her in his eternal paradise. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. The Ministry of Health has inaugurated this morning a new warehouse of 800 square meters built at PK-12 as part of the strengthening of a calm storage capacity. And this inauguration of the new warehouse uh, coincided with the official reception of important badges of medical equipment financed by the World Bank with the support of the ADDS. Indeed, the reception ceremony was attended by the representative of the World Bank, Mr. Atusek, the Secretary General of the Health, Dr. Saleh Bunay Tetra, and the uh, Director of IDDS, Mr. Mahdi Mohamed Jama, Director of CAM, Mr. Hussein Mohamed Hussein, and several directors and executives of the Department of Health. As a reminder, these important badges of medical equipment and materials are intended to support and strengthen the technical platforms of the health structures of Ali Adde, Hol Hol, and Obok. These include X-ray machines and scanners, emergency trollers, electric vacuum cleaners, wheelchairs, hospital beds, delivery beds, stretchers, and laboratory monitors. This advanced equipment acquisition projects aim to uh, enhance the quality of the technical platforms in these three localities with a view to improve to improving and enhancing the quality of specialized care services of the rural populations. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, takes part in the Summit of Ministers of the Middle East and North Africa region that is taking place in Cairo, Egypt, from July 28 to August 1. Uh, during the, third, uh, day, the three days of uh, the summit, the members of the governments and the representative of the civil society will have to discuss the main stakes of the ICT's development and the real need to innovate, transform education systems. On the silence of this summit, the Minister had a series of meetings with experts from the University of Cambridge, the Manfa of South, their expertise in the context of implementation of the new transformative project of our education system. The two parties discussed at length the ways and means of developing the education system with a view to guaranteeing the quality of teaching and learning. Then the Minister of uh, Ministry of Women and Family in collaboration with the Jibusian Agency for Social Development has yesterday organized a national institution workshop on the consensus and identification of the uh, needs of women's associations uh, at the Hotel Acacia in the presence of the Minister of Women and Family, Mrs. Mumina Mohamed Hassan, and Director General of the ADDS, Mr. Mahdi Mohamed Jama, local elected representative and non governmental organizations' representatives. This project, launched nine months ago, is, uh, fi is financed by the African Bank. It is part of the capacity building of associations which this study will not only update the directory of associations but will offer an, an assessment of uh, their capacity to strengthen it. Indeed, associations are one of the pillars of Jibusian society close to the people. They act on the ground. This civil society is an essential link between the citizen and this state, said the Minister of Women and Family from the outset in her intervention. She emphasized the fundamental role played by the women's association in our country. The minister said that the vision of the President of the Republic based on the participatory approach justifies this project and it invites all the organization of the Jibusian civil society to 
involve more a uh, volunteer action in by the reflection of the social challenges. Continuing with the national news, the Minister Delegate for Decentralization, Mr. Hamadou Mohamed Aramis, received Sunday afternoon Ambassador of the United States of America in Djibouti, Mr. Larry Andre. During uh, this meeting, uh, the Minister presented to his guests uh, its department. He also exhibited with the passion of a man from the field, resulting from local development activities undertaken ongoing or planned to meet the expectations of the population and in line with the roadmap drawn by the President of the Republic, Simar Mergele. Mr. Aramis reminded the diplomat that the latter attaches great importance to the decentralization. He took the opportunity to present the needs of the department he is responsible of for carrying out the decentralization process. Speaking in turn, the U.S. Ambassador to Djibouti, Larry Edward Andre, told the Minister of his satisfaction with the meeting. He then assured the Minister of the support of his government. Lieutenant General Zakiri Ashar Ibrahim, Chief of the Joint Staff of the Army Forces, received this Monday in his office General Eric Garnes, a new head of the Comfort Command of the French Forces stationed in Djibouti. Accompanied by Major General Thierry Dekunwa on the Djibouti side, the delegation was composed of Major General Hassan Ali Kamil. In this uh, meeting, Lieutenant General Zakiri welcomed Brigadier General Eric Garnes and also a good day star for service to Major General Thierry Dekunwa. Uh, this uh, first currency visit of the command the in chief in Djibouti aims to establish the first contact with the Djibouti military command. Also, Lieutenant General congratulated the efforts and the remarkable work accomplished by Major General Thierry for the two years spent at the head of the uh, commander in chief, especially his participation alongside ADF. And for his part, Brigadier General Eric Gurness uh, was delighted with the honor reserved for him and was honored to have met General Zakaria. He added that this first visit to Djibouti laid the groundwork for greater collaboration. A health control team from Lana National Food Testing Laboratory, in collaboration with the Gendarmerie, received this early this morning a shipment of a small remnant meat uh, transported to the open area in a pickup truck at the Hoden neighborhood. It comes after complaints from the population of Belbella neighborhoods on the poor conditions of transport of meat for consumers in the great suburb of Belbella. The cargo was intended to supply the other market. The reason for the seizure is the disregard of sanitary conditions for the transport of meat products, which must be done in an insulated uh, leverage terror uh, truck in cold connection at a temperature of uh, 4 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the LANA asks the population to be vigilant and to prevent on all the animalities observed on the foodstuffs, and especially on the meat, which must be conveyed to store under good conditions to preserve the health. The inhabitants of the city of Nasib, built and run by the EOG uh, Foundation, organized a ceremony on the occasion of the arrival in the city of the first wave of disaster victims. The ceremony was funded by the uh, young people of the city of who participate in their own way in, in support of the Foundation Right to Housing, founded by the President of the Republic. On this occasion, folk dances and songs were organized for the arrival of new beneficiaries who now have a home to live with their families. A projection was uh, organized on the situation of life a year ago and on the situation today in this new Nassif city. As part of the Ministry of Health, a medical caravan tour mobile team from the Alisabih Regional Hospital will be visiting the Galilee border area. This caravan is part of the policy of proximity initiated by the Ministry of Health, and as a few hundred people have benefited from free medical care and consultations from the hospital's medical team in the Alisabih region. In addition to the main objective is to bring care closer to the populations often far from medical centers where they will be able to benefit from quality care and to know that the medical team consists of a doctor, nurse, midwife, a nutritionist, and a vaccination uh, agent for children. In this information, we are still looking for Mr. Ali Aburi Ali, of eight years old, who has been missing since Thursday, 20 July. Mr. Ali Aburi is from the family of our colleague Ali Hamoudou of the RTD. Anyone who has met or seen Ali Aburi Ali is asked to contact the above numbers 77 and finally 77 42 66 99 or to bring him back to the nearest commissariat. 
On the news outside our borders, Malians went to the polls on Sunday in a crucial presidential election as a tax distributed voting in areas already visit, visit by a deadly ethnic and jihadist violence. More with Hindi Ibrahim. Nas started in summer of the 23,000 Nepalian station in which closed at the 1,800 GMT. First results are accepted within 48 hours and the official outcome is set to flow on Friday at the latest. Despite the deployment of 13,000 security personnel throughout the country, several incidents were reported in the north. By the Ministry of Territorial Administration to front the 24 corresponding crystal pure, violence prevented the voting from taking place at the sea center for the four polling station, almost 14 percent of the total. Some stations were set on fire, while numerous stands of violence against elections officials were reported. Zimbabwe goes to the polls Monday in this first election since authoritarian leader Lobo Mugabe was ousted last year with the alleged ballot fraud and the likelihood of a disputed result clouding voting day. More with Hindi Ibrahim. President Emerson Ngawa Mugabe is a former ally in the ruling Zanu P party faces opposition leader Nelson Kamiza of the MDC Movement for Democratic Change in historic fought for the South term African nation Mugabe in the four who was outside by outstate by military in November made a surprise intervention on the eve of the elections, calling for fortress to throw the new PF out of office. And that's all for this news. Thank you for joining us on RTD and have a good night.